Hey guys, it's Corey here from Invisible Army and uh, that was Station. Uh, today I will be doing a sort of like a review on the Kingman uh, or Spider Fast Cell Loader. Uh, first off, it's a great loader. I mean, I put maybe 10 or 15 cases through it. Uh, to, it's a great loader. It, it's, it's light. It's uh, easy to take apart. There's only a couple main parts to it. Uh, uh, I guess we'll start off with the battery. Uh, it is in uh, easy, just comes right off. It, it, it's not where it's so easy that it'll just fall off during the game. Now there's a clip, there's like a little uh, lock piece to it. Uh, I right here I have the LED uh, not, uh, 18 volt. There is a LCD uh, 18 volt, which has a screen and a game timer on the back, and there's a 9 volt with just one 9 volt, which is only about 20 volts a second, which would you rather, like, you, it's only t $10 extra, I think, or $5 extra for the 18 volt, but, you know, uh, where it floats your boat. Uh, on the back, it is a, it's not like a halo where it's sit there and I'll push the button for 5 seconds or so. It's just one push on, one push off. Uh, it's a, it, 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 I like that a lot, because... You know, it's you don't have to sit there and hold it and hold it, and hold it. Like say you get on the field right, and then off the break, you take two or three shots, and then nothing's loading. You don't have to sit there and hold the button, hold the button for like whenever you're in like say the Dorito or whatever. You know, so you just hit it, and it goes right on. Uh, it's not like the velocity where it just keeps running and running and running all game, which you out there who have velocities, say what you want. Uh, yeah, you know, that, that just kind of bothers me a little bit, but, uh, velocities are nice loaders, too. Uh, this here has a 230 ball capacity, they say, from the box. Uh, so, we'll be testing that in a few minutes. Uh, people say, I've been asked this question a few times, uh, does the fast loader have eyes? Uh, here's the answer, no, it does not have eyes. There's a little tab in the neck that acts as a sensor, so when a ball passes through it, it spins one and a half times just to get that extra ball, if it's on this side, to spin all the way around and go through. Uh, so, I guess we can do a quick little job test, I guess, uh, and a capacity test. Uh, here I have two pods, each holding 100 rounds, and a pile of 30 balls right there for the 230. So, let's see what we can get. Two. So as you can see, it's pretty much filled up most of the way. So when I take a little prong, so I'm using one of those uh, Halo old feed feeds, take the paint, drop it in there. Oh yeah, we got plenty of room here. Get that ball. And there we go. So that's, you clearly see that there is some room in there, if you can see that. Uh, so, you know, you'll hold at least 230 balls. Uh, I guess we could do a little test here to see how fast 230 balls would go through. So, here we go. Turn it on, and here we go. So like I said, it's a great loader, it's fast, holds a lot of paint, but I know everybody's going to be out there saying, oh, that's not all that fast, my loader's faster. If you're playing PSP, it doesn't matter how fast your loader goes, as long as it will go the... 13, or 13.3, so, you know, I mean, great loader, it keeps the force on the balls, I don't really chop much, actually, I haven't really chopped at all, uh, yeah, so it's compatible with most Halo, or pretty much all the Halos, you might have to put a, uh, little ring around, a hose clamp around it for the, uh, certain kind of, uh, speed feeds, 
because I know this one here fits really good on the just the normal Halo, like one of the older ones. But the new ones with the magnet, sorry, magnets, they uh, they tend to fall off sometimes. So I put a little hose clamp. I have a Virtue Crown coming in the mail soon, so I'll have that Ultra Soft. Always get the Ultra Soft. It'll save you so much time. Uh, yeah, so that's pretty much it for the fast loader. Great loader, fast. Uh, holds a lot of paint. You know, it sits back on the gun, so it's not like a halo or a velocity where it's kind of forward on the gun. So now you can wrap the bunker without them kind of coming out to uh, clip in the front of the loader. Uh, you know, people say say what you want about the loader, but I like it. I mostly use my Halo instead, but all Fasten needs to do is put like, a little rip drive in the bottom and you're set. So, that's pretty much it. Uh, thanks for watching. Invis uh, Corey Omek from Invisible Army and Devastation. Thank you.